these moments. So do I now that I got my coffee mug back. Mm. Now mm. that I got. These are worth the moments to cherish. These are like the best bat droppings ever. <laughs> Let me do like this so you can get a glimpse of the Batman of the 80th birthday. I don't have to turn mine. That's how awesome mine is. That's right. I try to find like arm fall off boy cup. <laughs> but they had that, but the handle kept falling off. Anyways, you can enter a rim shot there, Gary, if you want. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. Let's Believe it or not, before you say episode four. No, you are so behind. Is that episode four? You, last time you said an episode, it was the. Oh, you know what's throwing me off is because the whole full, full paw. This is number six. No, I know, but the whole fall paw of uh, the mistake one. It's it can't six. be number six. This would be number five then. It can't be number six. You have to recount it. Gary, I need a recount. Mm. Doesn't matter. It Welcome does matter. to a new episode of Coffee, Cookies, and Comics. I'm Frank. And I'm Chris. I like the way we turned that around a little bit. Well, we never know where we're coming from. Never know. Well, I added it. What an awesome week. Adventurous two weeks, actually. Oh, wait, I've got to say something. Say something. I spoke with you last time, and I said, Frank, you're not going to be able to make free comic book day, are you? Uh, nope. nope. I'm going to be in Hawaii. I'm going to be in Hawaii. No, I said I'm going Saturday. to Hawaii. Saturday. Oh, my God. No, I Santa said... Santa Claus is coming to town. Rewind the video footage. I said, I'm Santa. going to Hawaii. So I said, Frank, are you going to help me with the comic book day? Oh, no, I'm going to Hawaii. Oh, yeah. all right. Leaving at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So I got packing and laundry to do. So what day did he leave? Sunday. Sunday, the next day. <laughs> 5 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. I mean, Free Comic Day did not last 24 hours. Actually, I need to get some kind of sleep. I had so much packing to Ladies do. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want to tell you this. This year's Free Comic Book Day, Frank, was absolutely phenomenal. It was crazy. Glad it was crazy, there. awesome. Oh. We had so much cool traffic. We had, we were, I mean, we tried to be as streamlined as possible. Had so many kids coming in. We did four episodes of Star Wars Jedi Academy. Wow, that's impressive. We had anywhere between 18 and 20 kids per class. Per Show those pictures, Gary. Gosh, it was a lot of fun. I'll say, I will say and this. You, I've, I've, I've been I, here. I really would I have, have been here. Have seen you. I would have loved to have seen your expression that day. It was well, so I, I, I have been fun. here for at least three of your, like, what, six, six? Uh, free comic mm -hmm. I've had been here for three because I was here for the first one. No. Then I was here the second year, and then I was here last year. I don't think I was here the year before last, but I was here last year. I will say this for the craziness and the amount of volume that p people come into the store and stuff like that. You guys are really organized, and that's not just me saying it because you're my brother and this is an awesome store. Well, thanks. It's like crazy busy here, but you guys keep everything on time, everything on track. You have people walking around handing out pizza on a tray, selling pizza on a tray, being delivered to you, and so I, I said, I was, I said, I'm always really impressed. Well, and now that you've added more, more variety to your deli menu, oh yeah, it's insane. We appreciate, yeah, thanks. I mean, yeah. you, it was a lot of fun, and I want to thank. All but I will be here for Halloween. <laughs> Halloween Comic Fest. That's gonna right. be our next big event. Unless I, I just want to thank. I'm just else. a quick shout out to all the customers who just made that day. So, so, so possible. Let's get them the comic books, two fingers to the brow. Let's get two fingers to the brow and the thumbs up and the Vulcan sign. Couldn't have done it without you guys. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. But you had an adventure all to your own. I did. Before before I even left, I went to the arts festival downtown. That was nice. I did. I went there too. Oh, did you? What day did you there? go? Saturday. Interesting. It's always Saturday. Saturday morning. The day before you didn't do your, what do you call it? No, the previous, oh, the previous week. Oh, okay. the arts festival. Wow, what are you talking about? The arts festival wasn't last weekend. Oh, I know. I just threw Obviously me off for a second. Didn't. That's the weekend, but the week before. Yeah, was... yeah, I was out there too. It was really nice out that week. It that was. Weekend. It was so nice. <clears throat> and um, they were selling stuff left and right. And then Where's... last week, I went to Did Hawaii. You buy art? No, I didn't buy no art. I was going to Hawaii the following week. I got no money to spend. So, how did that work with your big foot? 
You're Actually, my wife. foot my foot healed up pretty nicely. It's still it's it, it's uncomfortable, but it's healed. Well, you didn't sink in the water. I know you were gonna go swimming. No, nope. we did. Uh, we did the first day we were there. We went down to the beach, like we walked around a little bit. Yeah. Second day we did snor- snorkeling. Yeah. That was the real test. I didn't know how my foot would handle the, the fin, and I didn't know if I would sink because I never did snorkeling before. Wow. I'll tell you right now, it was so relaxing. By the time I put my mask on, it was, was the water there. all calm? Yeah. The fish everywhere. And you'll be seeing pictures like that when I, when I get Gary's going to post some yep. pictures. And, um, but it was so relaxing. I just, I, I just laid there, there floating. Was a, there was a and sunset picture you sent yeah, here. It doesn't hurt your feet or nothing. That was from the beach. beach. But it doesn't hurt your feet as, you, as you're paddling on the fins. It's like yeah. no work at all. I'm not even in shape, obviously, for the last couple of months with my foot. I'm not even in shape. I wasn't even winded. It was so nice. And I'll tell you right now, an hour flew by. Like By the time I, I, I was looking at the reef and stuff, all right, let's start heading back with the kayaks. It's like, what? Already? Because we had like an over an hour and a half to snorkel. It was gone so quickly. That's how serene it was. So uh, the next day, I was going to go scuba diving. How'd that go? Uh, went Wait, like the... let me guess. Went like the wind. They had that big mask on that opened it up and it was like... <laughs> I'm ready to go. I, I, I wouldn't know. There was no, there was no scuba diving. Oh, you didn't get to go. Nope, my blood pressure. She never wrote it down. I told you, she you should have had some. You should have took some of these wonderful cookies with you. She lied. Is what I should have done. But anyway, but um, instead you of snorkeling, lied. wait. <laughs> she lied they asked pressure. you about your blood pressure. Yes, yeah, so of course. I, I got to be honest because underwater, even though we were just going 40 feet, and they didn't think anything would happen at 40 feet, but the, with, with pressure. And stuff like that. Why take a you, chance? Well, if you have a heart attack while you're scuba diving, it's not like when you're above water. Yeah. It's instantaneous. You're dead. Yeah. And so there's no notice. No, well, no you don't get grabbed your just chest. We that. That brought no. that so, Yeah. Zero. Well, the people need to know this. Don't lie about if you got if, if you're sick. Underwater stuff is no joke. No, it's not. I, I watched the I watched some videos on scuba diving and people and. Uh, uh, these instructors, uh, there were a lot of there are a lot of instructors teaching these, just some simple classes yeah. on YouTube. They talk about the dangers and the pitfalls that people you know start to try to discover or explore stuff, and it you just is don't no realize. joke how so, serious. But the good thing was the day wasn't wasted. We walked around Hawaii, Honolulu. Uh, wow. We we hung out we hung out at the beach that day. That's where I sent you see a lot of those pictures, the sunset pictures and stuff like that. It was really nice. Um, we found an awesome Korean place that I, I made a comment in Yelp because, really? oh, it was so good. Oh, it was so good. Really? The food there is phenomenal. Well, it's got to be. It's got to be all fresh. Well, everything. See, everything. I mean, can you imagine? Because yeah, I'll tell you right now, I hate pineapples. I hate pineapples. Unless it's on a ham, yeah. like with Dresden, like the honey really? ham. I didn't know yeah, that. I'm not I a pineapple fan. Pineapple. But I'll tell you right now, you know, you look at a pineapple, it looks like that yellow. No, that's not the color of a pineapple. It's like almost white when it's fresh. And oh my God, it's the best tasting I ever tasted. Really? Melissa got this gigantic. You mean, so you mean here we are <laughs> here in here Oklahoma? We, we get yellow pineapple, and that's like okay, that's about to be thrown out. Yeah, it must be yeah because when you're there, it's almost like white yellow, and it's so juicy. And she got that pineapple drink, and I'm like, Ugh. and it only costs twelve bucks. Then you can see that picture with her standing in the doorway. That thing was heavy. It must have weighed a pound. And I said, well, let alcoholic me. alcoholic beverage. Oh, okay. Just a pineapple. It's like a pineapple. Oh, okay, it's one of those. They're made of. Uh, it's actual pineapple. Kind of pineapple. Yep. Yeah. And I took, I took a sip of it. Oh my god, it was so fresh. Uh, you know, oh my god, I walked around drinking it. It was so good. I, it was I got a pineapple uh, snow cone up there. I got two of two snow cones. They were so good. It's like anything there, especially seafood or whatever. I would like to see you do a taste test here on the show. Which is a piece of pineapple, oh, just yeah. so you, just so you can let the viewers know really how different. Maybe next besides time. Besides visual, maybe the next episode. We'll cut open a pineapple. Yeah. Just to see what the your, difference. Yep. I mean, because you actually had one, so. Oh yeah. But then. You uh, give us a rating, like a one to ten rating. Yeah. So the food, of course, was phenomenal. We ate a lot of food there. I gained like ten pounds while I was there. Well, that's terrific. Yeah. So now I gotta lose it all. Um, the funny part at the end, because after that we went to a luau. It was all here. Oh, I saw the luau some, uh, was really, really awesome. Those dancers, and even the day we missed the. Did they, I didn't see. Did they throw fire and stuff? Yeah, there was, I sent you the fire one. Wow. And the day we didn't do the scuba, we're walking around and we seen three different performers. One was a guy and his family. 
which I'll share with Gary. The guy and his family, and it's this young kid. He goes out there, and he starts dancing, and it's the control dance. It's not a hula. It's that control dancing they do. He's blowing a shell horn and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Then we walked on, came across another another older group. And these are just like side performers. Yeah, this, the street performers. Just sand happening. performers. Yeah, sand performers. Really. <laughs> anyway, I just got that. Well, we there was a, our hotel was right near, like this international market. There's like a hundred and like hundred and five or hundred and ten stores in this mall outlet place. And it's not even the largest mall there. The largest mall has four hundred stores. So, so anyway, so we the walk. Beach? No, the, no, this is just yeah, this is just in the main wow. hub of Honolulu. So we're walking around the mall, and there's this gigantic picture of this. Beautiful Girl. woman, a hula dancer, right? And said, so, wow, you know, that's that's really awesome how they have that picture there because she looks beautiful and stuff like that. And we go, as we're walking around, and we come across a second band. They call this woman out, and it's her. She actually works in the stores. Wow. And she started performing. And I got those pictures, too. And I'm like, it's surreal because you see this giant larger-than-life picture of what you think is just an ad of Hawaii. Yeah. And, no, she's the performer. Wow. And it's like... You're just stunned. That is so cool. Yep. So, but like I said, I'll share those pictures with Gary and stuff like that. So, um, very cool. Yep. And then we, like I said, we did Luau. Then the last day, <laughs> the last day, I was like, okay, well, our plane, uh, the plane leaves late Friday. So, so we don't, you were there almost a week. Yeah, a week. Almost five days. Yep. And so we wow. left around eight. Our, our plane was supposed to leave like eight forty-five, nine o'clock at night. So I was thinking, okay, let me plan one more excursion. So we went to go see the Pearl Harbor, the Missouri, the oh, yeah. boats. I saw, I saw that. Yeah. And so we got to go inside the submarine. We got to go inside the Missouri, downstairs, upstairs. It was pretty cool. Anyway, so it says, okay, well, we got to be there at 8, 9 o'clock. They should be done around 4.30. Our plane doesn't leave till 8.45. We have plenty of time. So <laughs> as time starts winding down, it's like, it's 4.15. Where's our bus? 4.30? What? Where did everybody oh, go? This like we lost our whole group. We had a group of 23 people. We're like looking around like, where's our group? Oh, wow. So you did one of these group oh. things. Yeah, so uh, no, no, they just happened to be on the same tour. So I'm calling up the thing saying, hey, where's our where's our tour guy? So we're supposed to meet him here. And say, well, the, the bus is in the, in the parking lot. So we go there all the way in the parking lot. The bus isn't there yet. But we finally find our crew. Like we're sweating because we're looking at what time it is. Well, we have a shuttle bus supposed to meet us at 545 to take us to the airport. So we're cal- oh my word! Yeah. Okay. We're calculating the time. It's like we don't have. We're not gonna have time. And I really don't care for the way your company left me in the middle of nowhere with keys to a car that isn't there. And there was a store like where they were. They were gonna drop us off right around the corner from a hotel. But if we were to wait for that, that would have added like another 15, 20 minutes. We would have missed our shuttle bus. Yeah. We would have had to get an Uber or a taxi, which would have cost a lot more money. Yeah. So there was a Ross store by coincidence a block and a half away from where we were at. And so I told Melissa, I said, I said, you know what? Give the tip. I said, I'm going to run for it. And she's like, you're, are you going to be okay? I said, I got no choice. I you said, guys ran for it? I did. I got off that bus and I said, thank you so much. Gone. I just started hauling ass, part my language. I was running, and then a woman and a baby gets right in front of me at full speed. Did you like? No, I stopped. I let them walk past me. And I did. I started. You had that big old foot too when you was running. It was like it probably sounded like this. No, I wasn't even thinking about my foot. As it was like this. I'm. I, yeah. No, I did jack it up because by the time like I, when I could see the corner of where my hotel was, I was like, oh, I can stop, and I started walking, and then, you know, the, the, the alleyway usually opens up a little more for you. I see the back end of the shuttle bus. So you're basically was running ahead to catch the shuttle bus. To make sure they don't wait, leave, yeah. Wait, so, and then Melissa will catch yeah. up with you. So I'm exhausted, and I, find, I, I, so I thought I could walk the rest of the way, and then I see the tail end of the shuttle bus. I'm like, oh. So I start running again. <laughs> to get to him because he's across the street and like at least a half block away tell me so i start me. running yeah so i get there and i'm like huffing and puffing and the guy's waiting in, in the doorway of the bus and i'm like are you are you here for it? yes he goes yeah i just gotta get my, I gotta get my luggage <laughs> and i look behind me melissa's not even there yet it's like oh, shit. Uh-huh. I'm, 
Okay. And he was like, yeah, we still got 30 minutes. Yeah. No, no, he had to leave. It's oh. like, yeah, I, we were like a minute before our time. So I ran in, dragged out our luggage, sat down. I was sweating and I was huffing and puffing. I was so exhausted. So, so oh. uh, step back just a second. So what kind of delayed you there? You just you because, got caught in the moment? No, because our shuttle bus was late. And well, your they group also had disappeared, a, is what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, well, because the group went to a, a, the meeting place, but they, it was a different meeting place than what he told us. But also, he had to drop somebody off at the airport because they were leaving at six. It's like, oh. So had they not, they were supposed to be on a different shuttle bus. I see. So had he not had to drop them off, and then there was traffic. We go, it was like this, stop, stop, stop. Well, should have took 10 minutes, 45, almost 45 minutes to get wow. there. Wow. So when you got to the airport, tell me, would you just barely make it? No, we, we, we got there, we, we booked our stuff in, and we still had like an hour to wait. And it's like really all that rush. Well, it's so good to have you back. Thank you. Where you belong. Because, Frank, there is so much stuff going on. There is. In the comic book universe. Before we get into the comic book universe. Yes, Frank. What about it? Let's, mm. let's talk about Avengers Endgame. Avengers Endgame. Have you seen it? I have. It was actually. I it gave was, it a thumbs up. It's a pretty decent movie. I know what you're about to say something. What? what? Well, can I fill what? this up with hot coffee so I can get ready to throw it at you? Just in case? What? what could I possibly say about Avengers Endgame? <laughs> well, first I'd like to let our viewers know. I won't give no spoilers. Who cares? That's what I was going to say. Spoiler oh. alert. Forget about it. Everyone in their mama has seen this movie. <laughs> All right. It's already been out, what, four weeks? Two weeks. No, it's been out longer than that. No, two weeks. Seems like four. I know. It seems like four, but it's been two. Well... It was a, because it came out the weekend before I left. It was a long movie. It was long. It didn't seem. It I'll started honest, out it comical. It had some. It had some that was comedy just, in it, there throughout. Yeah, a little my, bit. It, well, my thing was it was comical, and then serious. You know, there was like no transition between their comedy and the serious. It was se it was seamless. No, That's no, what no. Good but it was writing. It was, no, it, it, it wasn't seamless. Seamless is a transition of happy emotional aggression. Here we go. You can see Avengers Endgame again. Oh, gosh. And again. It's baby. He'll grow. And again. Somebody peed my pants. Time travel. Anyway. But, so, I, you know, here's the one thing about it. When I found out it was that long, what is it, almost three hours? Yeah. I thought, wow, it's going to be long. You know? They had a lot of filler in there. A lot of filler. Well, what I liked about it is it didn't seem like it had any dull moments. I mean, I, I don't remember really. Well, no, there wasn't... There, I will say this again, just like Captain Marvel. There was no Domo. It was a good movie. Avengers Endgame is the number one movie in the world two weeks in a row. What do you think is coursing through my veins? She's with ice cream and lightning. Yeah. But they, the person who wrote it, obviously never read the comic book, like my biggest argument ever. The Infinity Stone. When they're on the Infinity Gauntlet, it does not just alter time. When you have all of them together, the one who you, wields it. you can alter reality. It is what you think. So if I thought one second you should not be, you would not be. No one would remember you. Have you have to wear it. Yeah. Wear but the thing is, but no but one. But also, it seems no like. Would, no one would miss you because you would, you would never have existed. That's the difference. You are changing well, reality. Heck, you're talking about the last movie. Really? No, no, I'm talking about the Well, the actual... last movie, everyone just disappears. No, no, no. They disintegrated right in front of your eyes. That doesn't happen. You cease to exist. I guess, I the guess original... Thanos does say that. You know, he regretted the subtlety. He should have just, like, annihilated everything, and he wouldn't be worried about what, what's going on. Yes, but in, in, the, in the comic book, he only, his only goal was to eliminate the Avengers and the heroes of the world. It wasn't to eliminate half the population. Because he felt... Earth has created the most powerful beings he's ever come across. And they're the only thing that's going to ever stand in his way. So what, if, with, I, with, I, the, with, with the so galaxy he being so big, why even worry about it? Because he knows that he can't affect any other universe, any other galaxy or anything, without the repercussions of these heroes getting butting in. Because that's what they do best. I see. And so he knew he had to it get rid of It wasn't for those meddling kids! That's right, and the dog, too. Good. Yeah, it was good. And so... 
in the comic book universe. Yeah. They ceased to exist. No one knew who Captain America was. No one knew who Iron Man was. The flaw to the storyline was that he couldn't help reminiscing. Without realizing it, wearing the gauntlet, any thought that passed through his head would become reality. We used the stones to destroy the stones. It nearly killed me, but the work is done. Then the second part, the traveling through time, trying to get the other gems, but the gems are not destroyed. They are obliterated, yes, but the power still exists in our universe. They are not gone. That's a faux pas on the right. But, but that's fine. But the thing is, so he said, they didn't know about it right there. They just tried to. They, I think the solution was, how do we get these yes. stones back? So they're cracking jokes. And if you pay attention, good. if you pay attention, they messed up. The, they messed up the line because now Loki escaped. Since Loki escaped the timeline, he never dies. Because he was never on that ship with Thor. That's where he was about to head on to, right? I don't know. No, he, I, don't, I forgot where he was heading off he to. He was disappeared. I mean, he, he just, just left. right there. But he has no idea what his future holds. But you messed that up because now he escaped. And he still has his staff. You know, maybe they oh, should. Oh, no, he has, the, he has the Tesseract. Okay, yeah. so now you have that messed up in, in the timeline. Mm -hmm. Right? Also, uh, Incredible Hulk they basically destroys his arm. Because he tried to snap and he couldn't bring Wanda back. Not Wanda, but uh, the Black Widow. Couldn't bring her back. Yet again, with the Infinity Gauntlet, it is what you imagine. Maybe he didn't have the power to wield it. It, had no, it has nothing to do with power. If you hold that... It seemed like when you put that on, it just... Absorbs. Yeah, you I have mean, to be strong you, enough you, to hold it. But I'm saying, though, is that he still did it. You know what I'm saying? But it's what you imagine. But yet, let me see. It broke his arm and almost killed him. That's the But whole. Tony... And Tony Stark was able to wield it. Give me a break. He, he has it long enough to go, I'm Iron Man. And yet, as soon as Hulk put it on, it was already deteriorating his arm. And here you are, puny human. I'm sorry, I don't care what your Iron Man outfit is made out of. You're not going to be able to wield that. Saskatchewan silkskin bindings. Yeah. And again... And uh, isn't it made out of the antimanium? It's antimanium. I think it's antimanium? Think it I think it's vibranium, isn't it? Vibranium is the shield. I don't know, because what's his name made it? Remember the... Tony Stark did. No, not Tony Stark. Oh, what's his name made it? You're right. The giant. I thought again. I think it is. Um, maybe it is. It's made out of something else, I think. Because yeah. remember, they had to use the heat from the sun. You're right. The, the star. Right. No. But anyway. I, I gave digress. it a thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen. I gave, I gave it a thumbs up. But, you know, then you have Captain America. Okay, let's just. Hold on. Then you have Captain America, <laughs> who on Civil War sees his ex his ex-girlfriend. Yeah. What's he say to her? I'm glad you it's had not the ex-girlfriend. Oh, no. It was the nurse that nursed him to health, and he, you know how. Yeah, but it was his girlfriend, the one he was supposed to have a dance with. Yeah, okay? I thought it was kind. And of he's like in Civil War. He's like, oh, I'm glad you had a full life. You have a family, stuff like that. And then she passes away and stuff like that. But he was happy. She. So what's he do? Uh, I'm Horns so glad. in on that. Yeah, he took away took it away from her by going back in the past and living his life with her, thus robbing her of her actual family. Which Captain America never would do. And on top of that, okay, Vision's gone, right? Sorry. Hold on. Sorry, Captain it gets America. better. It gets better. Vision is gone. Yeah, we, there was nothing to Yet do. Yet they're with making Vision. a six hour TV movie starring Wanda and Vision. Well, this is probably going to be before it all. I have no idea. Well, okay, let's and, just. And Black Widow. They're making a thing about Black Widow. So I, I, this is going to be very interesting how they're going to tie all this back together. Well, it's going to be like probably before all this happened. No, no, this is going to happen after the fact. Okay, let's just go right to the but, very end of the movie. Yes. The little tidbit of sound. Everyone everyone was waiting at the very end of the movie thinking that there was going to be this colossal... Yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, it's the end, guys. It's the end of the movies, the end of that whole series. Yeah, and there's, not, there's no coming attention. There's no coming anything back. But there is a sound clip in what sounds to be like forging in the background. Yes, you're king, king. And so, what do you think, in your opinion? Because I've heard different stories of different opinions about what... You know, I didn't even give it a thought because I was heading to Hawaii. So, I really didn't you think, didn't think that. about it at I all. I really didn't. Well, somebody's mentioned the reforging of the... Could it be the reforging of the uh, Captain America shield? Because remember, it was damaged, but yet when he brought it back and gave it to... What's his name? Yeah, it, it wasn't, wasn't damaged. Yep. This was this movie was eleven years in the making. Yep. It was eleven years in the making, and they and you've okay, seen it before. 
they uh, everyone's talked about it how they can have all these movies all working together for this final movie I mean, it's about it's, time there's some kind of cohesion. Yeah, but we it's might sad. Not, like, we you might spend not all have... this time building up all these heroes. You make, what, four Avenger movies? Really, just four? It's like we're, we, we waited how many how years? Ma- 30, 40 years for, for a Marvel movie to come out. You make four of them because people it's want out. It's not going to be like the end of the, you know, the comic book. No, no, you know, still have Spider Man. It's not going to end just because yeah. of that. You can... What I was just making a comment about is that this was, this was an 11 year project in which they knew what they wanted to finish with and they had all these movies that helped build it up. You started building all these relationships with all these heroes and they did it the right way. A little tidbit, uh, Tony Stark wasn't supposed to say anything at the very end. He was supposed to just wear the glove and snap his finger. What did he say? I'm I'm, I'm Iron Man. Because the other guy says, I'm inevitable, Thanos. And he goes, I'm Iron Man. But he said too long. I I felt like it was a little drawn out. I should have said it more immediate. But yeah, he wasn't going to say nothing. And the guy with the, the writer, the director, he's like, what if he just said, I am Iron Man? Make it go full circle, because that's how it all started, with him when he said, I'm Iron Man, on the newscast. So let's end it with him saying, I am Iron Man. Oh, that's pretty cool. I yep. forgot, forgot And so they, they were like, ecstatic. And so that was just a last minute idea. That's kind of cool. So, I said, it was. I, I liked the movie. It was a good movie. It was funny. I, lo- I loved Captain America when he was beating up himself. He looks back. He goes, hmm, that is America's ass. That was pretty <laughs> that funny. That was funny, yes. So, all but right, yeah. guys, that was it was a great little talk about the yeah. Avengers Endgame. But more importantly, oh, one more little blurb. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm so glad they came out with Captain Marvel, the prequel, because she had such an impact in the movie. All five minutes that she was in it. Okay. Oh yeah. That was stupid. I, that was, what a waste. What a waste. Ooh, she just. I think had she was a pivotal. Role. I think. I think she, she did just, have a pivotal role. I think she movie. was just written in, and I think it was. Re- you know, and again, I say this, don't take no offense, people. He's like, but it was, offense. And I'm not the only one that feels this way. A lot of people do. I think you made it That whole clear. woman, that whole w- women's stance thing where you have all those women, oh, we're going to stop this. It's like, really? What happened to the rest of all the heroes that were just there five seconds ago? Yet all the women were right then and there. Let's go. Really. The only one that was worth it is Captain Marvel. She should have just punched Thanos in the face and been done with this. She was the strongest She's the strongest, strongest person in the Marvel universe. She should universe. have been able to peel that off like a banana. Exactly. But she was stronger than the Hulk, I bet. And everybody was excited when Captain America was wielding Majolnir. I think that, was, that part. Yeah. Well, I that was, that's because he's the one that really um, basically leads the battle to defeat Thanos. It wasn't Iron Man, which pisses me off about yeah. this new Marvel universe is everything revolves around Iron but Man. But the only thing I got out Not of that, the only thing I got out of him wielding the hammer because I really didn't like that part at I all. I did because he's pure of heart. That's what it was. He was that, that spirit, that moment, yep. that moment, that very one moment that was made to, to, for him to wield. But yeah. I thought that was cool that uh, at the end he brings it with him, because that's another thing. He took the hammer with him when he was back in time. That's funny. But he didn't have it when he came back. What happened? Exactly. Mm. Things so anyway. that make you go. Mm. All right. Moving on. Moving on. We got so many more. Got top. so many more things to talk about. And you know. You brought this up last time. Yes, I did. You wanted to talk about manga. 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 Thank you. We call it manga, manga, he potato, calls it manga. potato. There's no, there's no right or wrong way to say it. But nope. there is. It's called manga. So. Or anime. Yep. Yeah, so it anime is a big is part. Animation. It is a big part of the comic universe. Comic. Yes, it is. Uh, it is a huge of, staple. Yeah. In the comic world. I mean. They break more strides and records as far as the writing, the artistry, and stuff like that, and the storytelling. Yep. Nothing really. You probably don't even know what my favorite is. Speed Racer. How'd you know? Because I know you so well. Spritel and Chim Chim. <laughs> anyway. No. I can't say nothing. Voltron's most my favorite, so. Anyway. Oh, I forgot about Voltron. But still. That and Silverhawks. That's good. Racer X. Yeah. Still on Speed Racer. Pops! Anyway, Chim Chim. We're gonna talk about the What's five. What's that girl's name? I the girlfriend. Name. Yeah. Trixie. Trixie, that's it. What's the mechanic's name? Jimmy. No, I don't think Jimmy. No. What's the Who mechanic's knows? name? I can never remember the. Com- Gary. He always asks me these questions. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about the top five. Oh, uh, we're doing the top five again. I'm doing the top five best well, anime top comics four. ever. I see. Uh, you better recalculate. We had more than four. We had seven last time. We, we did the top four. Oh my word! This no, no, guy. not four. No, it was 
think <coughs> there's five or six because we had The Dark Knight Returns. One. We had, uh, man, I'm trying to think. Watchmen. We didn't have Dark Knight. Re- yeah, we had. Yeah, we, we had Dark Knight Returns. We had uh, The Killing Joke. We had The Watchmen. We had Sin City. No. Yeah, we went. You're talking about your list. Yeah. You eliminated stuff and you found no, out no, no, graphic we, novels. Yeah, we did five. Back. Oh, the top right. four. It was the top four. It was to the top four. It was. Your list is incredible. the Watchmen, Dark Knight Returns, Killing Joke, and there was one more. No, we had two more. No, because no, just... I added. Remember at the very end, I added. You're mistaken. Anyway, I got the wrong book so here. hey, we have a top five That's manga right. best anime. Best anime. gonna be able to do our voices and have like really cool eyes in this episode what what do you mean you know how anime they always when they have talk really, and they got the they have the little uh, mini mouths matters, and big eyeballs it matters how impressive gary can be maybe he can give you let's see if a we pokemon do, head let's do a pose <laughs> okay. why, don't we, why don't we look surprised <gasps> okay gary it's up to you now all right all right so, so we're gonna for, do the top five you're going to go backwards? I'm going to go from five to number one. So number one being the best? Yes. All right. All right. Please bear with me as I pronounce some of these names. I may not be correct. I think I am. But I'm going to enjoy knows. this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Gary, please uh, put up the, the images and stuff like that. I'm going to obviously be reading off my little Gary, wait, sheet. but first. Some emulgence. Yeah. Hey, we're not, let's, let's refill on our emulgence. And let's break to this commercial, commercial break. Come a long way since the first coffee commercial. Like Wilkins? Michael Bexwell House. Uh, <laughs> let's get to the last drop. It was. At least it wasn't like the shootest. Ah! Sh- you hold it right there. Just throw me your wallet. Yes, sir. A little something extra. <laughs> you gotta really stop saying that. <laughs> okay. This is the next. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the top five manga. Manga. Ah. Uh, you know, there was that. Uh, the first one we're going to start with is One Piece. Please by, I'm, I'm going to try to pronounce this right. Ichiro Oda. I want some Cheerios. I didn't say Cheerios. <laughs> I, thought he just I said, apologize. He said Cheerios in my bola. I said Ichiro. Churros, like those Mexican sticks. I didn't say with churro. Some, with little e- Chiro. One Piece, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It is about... A guy named Monkey D. Luffy? I believe that's it. I'm going to have to take your word on that. Yes, I'm going to have to. Yeah, I believe I'm right. Apologize if I'm wrong or if I mispronounce it. But he has the ambition to be a pirate. And he can get strange, unusual powers by eating gum gum fruit. Are you but, serious? Yes, but there's a curse to the gum gum fruit. Those who eat the gum gum fruit might become powerful. Is that where one piece comes from? The word one piece? Is no. that a piece of candy? Piece no, of fruit? no, no. Okay. I'm getting ahead of myself. Yes, you are. He, the, the downfall, the curse, those who eat the gum gum fruit can never swim. Ever. Ever. Once they try it, they Once can... you use the gum gum fruit, it's the curse of the gum gum fruit. And here he is. He wants to be a pirate. <laughs> he, he's selling the seven seas with his friend. And I'll try to pronounce this right. 
Roronoa Zoro. That's his mate. Master of the Three Swords. That's Selling the Seven Seas in search of the elusive One Piece. Okay, that's what it's all about. Yes. They're trying to find something. He's trying to find the One Piece. And so it's like in the ocean somewhere? Well, I guess that's it is because he he's be traveling the Seven Seas. Cool. And so, again, I'm assuming there must be a lot of times where for... Uh, like gumshoe? Yeah, not gumshoe. It's <laughs> not gumshoe. Monkey. I don't know why we named Monkey D, but okay. Poor Monkey D. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of issues. And I don't mean like comic issues. I mean like problems that will arise. Because since the curse is you can't swim, I guarantee it's been a lot of times that he's not like falling in the water. That just sounds hilarious. Well, I'm pretty sure it is hilarious. Wow. It's action and adventure. That's one thing I do. I will say this. Uh, manga has their serious. Manga! And they're not. They got they their serious and they're not so serious. And this is on their like serious, on their serious heroes and stuff like that. When they tell a story, that hero is going to die in the end. They love killing off their heroes wow. because they try to put like a realism to it that you might be the best, but in the end you will die trying to trying to stop what's you know you're trying to stop. So I do get that they give them credit. Like I don't know how they keep up with their stuff because people keep dying. But That's again, cool. this ain't one of those stories. I've always wanted. To- I haven't I've never read it, the, the the series, so it's been out for a while. It's got a big following. Yep. So, like I said, it's brand. And it's, you know, you know, it's, it's new been in out comparison there to the other stories, us, other ones. But you know, that story's probably been out there for a while. Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, exactly. That's true. That makes me want to read that. That sounds really cool. Next, number four. Number four. Everybody should know this one. Bleach. Bleach. By Tai Kubo. I thought it was Mr. Clean. That's the cleaning song. Oh, but you said Bleach. Bleach is the name of this, this book. Oh, so it's about a cleaning company. Yes. It's about, and I uh, hope Gary's putting pictures up for this, especially since I'm looking down. Don't put up this. Mr. Clean. Please don't put up Mr. Clean. You can put up Mr. Clean when okay. you say Mr. Clean. Tell anyway, us. Bleach is about a hot tempered 15 year old boy named Ichiro Katsuki. That's not like the person from the first show. The first no, one. the first one was called Monkey D. Oh. How does Monkey D sound like Maybe Ich- it was his friend. Ichigo? Maybe it was the writer, the creator. Ichiro. Yes. This is Ichigo. See what I'm saying? Okay. I'm just saying. But it's, not, it's different. There could have been brothers. Okay. Ichigo Kurosaki. Say that five times. <laughs> I'm not going to say it. Th- I'm not going to say it one time fast. He has the ability to see spirits that see dead people. are unable to rest All in peace. The time. No, it's not like that. These are just unrested spirits. Well, what do you think he saw... What do you think in that movie? But not everybody was an unrested spirit that he sees. He sees all spirits. He sees all dead people. Who does? And you're the talking kid. about the one I'm talking about or yes, your guy? You're your guy. You mean from the kid. Uh, Sixth, Sixth Sense? Sense? Yeah. Which I don't know how that fooled anybody. I knew as soon as he said, I see dead people. Oh, and he said I they're talking about. Of course. I'm sorry, he's yeah, talking, yeah. To, he's talking to Bruce Willis. Like, I know, he's as dead. As soon as he said, I, I see dead people, and Bruce Willis is talking to his wife. Is it hot like, enough? There's only only one plate, only one cup. There's nothing in front of him. Come on, people. How how dense are you? M. Night Shyamalan. It's sort of like M. Night Shyamalan. That was a good movie. Okay. Anyway. Thumbs down? I mean, thumbs up. For yeah, yeah, you're right. Thumbs, thumbs down. Thumbs down for this guy. That's right. Anyway. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> hey, right. Do me a favor. So, Practice so, this. So... Anyways, so Bleach. Bleach. He is a hot-tempered 15-year-old who, likes who sees... No, has nothing to do with Mr. Oh, that's Clean. right. I'm sorry. He who sees, sees dead people all the time. Who? No, but ones who are not in rest. They're he, not in rest. They're not... Yeah, of course not. Resting they're, in peace. They're, they're, they're like... Where, where, they don't want to be where they're at. Exactly. Almost like that one Sounds TV like, show. What was that one TV <laughs> show? But, no. What was that one TV show with the girl? Not Charmed. It wasn't medium. It was another one. I forgot what it's called now. The phenomenon with Thomas. No, the phenomenon. <laughs> anyway, his sixth sense leads him to. Speaking of which, good movie. What's that? Your sixth sense. Oh my god. <laughs> he said it. Anyway, his sixth sense leads him to a girl named again. Sorry if I pronounce this wrong. Rokia, who's a soul reaper. 
who destroys soul devouring monsters. So she's a good person. She's like an angel. Yes. But when she gets badly injured, she hands her sword over to him and most of her powers over to him. But he's just this regular kid. He's just, yep, regular kid. He's this regular kid who, who can see. Who can see he's got, you know, he's just got some kind of premonition. It's almost like a destiny for him. But he doesn't know if he wants that responsibility. It's like Iron Fist, as if someone said, here's my fist. No, because Iron Fist is not immortal. No, but he gave him. Like, you can shoot Iron Fist if you block it with his fist. Yeah, but you could take Iron Fist's power away from him. Yeah, it's only if you watch the Netflix show. If you take off his hand and you put it on and you wield the power, no, ha -ha, and you think, that's not how it I'm works. Iron Fist. That's not how it works. I think so. No, it's not, it's not a gauntlet. It. I think you should check it out. Anyway, I apologize to all the fans. Bleach. Number three. Number four, sorry. It's Number one three. so much better. I'm just, this, I am just going. I think the reason why number th One Piece is number five is because it is newer, okay. where these other ones have been out for a while, and that's more why popularity. Everybody, yeah, and they, become, they become more iconic. Same with the Killing Joke. So that's Man. kind of neat. So it's more of a spiritual kind of thing. That's yeah. neat. Okay, the next one, Death Note. You know, I've seen this, and I don't know any. I don't know anything. Well, at first, I thought when I heard about Death Note, I thought it had to do with the musical, the music that was created a long time ago. Because there is a death note the that it sound. played. Yes. The 13th sound. Yep. That the if you listen to is. it, it'll you, you'll commit suicide. You know. Although if you watch, it's like getting a fork and a, and a, and a plate. You know we're gonna have that sound effect. People. <laughs> if you people watch are, Dark Matters, Twisted but True, they have an episode about the sound. But then they play it. But an accidental discovery is about to take Gabriel's life in a new direction. I need a break. It begins when he and his assistant start suffering bouts of dizziness and nausea. It got a crushing headache. You too. Well, cool. Tell me more about it. All right. So anyway, back to Death Note. Death Note follows a young man by the name of Light Yagami. It's written by Sagami Bears. Oba. <laughs> Did you get that? Yes. Did you get that, Gummy Bears? I apologize. I'm sorry. Again, I'm assuming it spells out T-E-S-U, so I believe it's pronounced Sugami Oba. Or Sugami. That's what I just said. Bears. Anyway, it, fly, it follows this kid named Light Yasami. Okay? He has great uh, prospects, but he actually comes across what they call the Death Note. He and it's a notebook. It dropped by a sh shinami, I'm sorry, Shigami Death God. And any name that you write in, death, death, oh. in this notebook, they die. Okay, so so Claire, I'll clarify. So this is not like a note, like a musical note. No, no, it's no. See, note, that's what like I thought it was. Okay, yeah, so. that's why I brought up that. Yeah. That's why I brought that up. No, and that's I what, that's what, and that's what I thought it was going to okay. be about. So when I, when I was so reading this. it's a this, notebook. Yeah, that was dropped by a Shigami God. So I don't know how the, I don't know how he dropped this notebook, and I'm assuming he must be a type of Grim Reaper. Like this? Ooh. No. That, that looks scary. Yeah, only because I can see your face. Anyway, he he decides when he finds his book and realizes what can be done with the book that he makes a vow to rid the world of evil. So has time. So what he writes in the book comes true. No, whatever name he writes in the book, they die. Ooh. So I hate if you if he ordered a Big He's Mac. He's really and you didn't put names a, in yeah. that book. Yeah. So does he become evil by doing this? Uh, if you let me finish, you might be able to find out. I can't wait. I'm just like. <laughs> so he makes a vow to rid the rid the world of evil. And as criminals start dropping dead left and right, they get the legendary doctor, Detective L. Don't ask me why is it Detective L. But Detective I know he's L. Detective L. Is it like the letter L? Yep. Hot on the or case to find L. out why these criminals are dropping dead and who's killing them off. Can you imagine so being he, that detective for just a second? Well, he what, must be a supernatural detective. What is going on with these people dying left and right? Someone must have a book and writing names in it. No, I'm pretty sure he finds out later on what's going on. 
Because he must be a, he must be a supernatural detective. So he's aware he, of its powers. Probably knows yep. the history. And, and so he he's the, hot on the trail of the owner, the kid. How old but, is the kid? Does it say? No, it don't say how old he was. Is it teenager, yeah. young kid? That's cool. And so he's hot on the trail. So the the question is, will light keep sight of his noble cause of ridding the world of evil, or will that power corrupt him? And will he live long enough? I'm liking this better than like. The first comic one. books right now. This yeah. is cool. They they are so in depth with their storytelling. It's phenomenal how, to even think of something like that is pretty impressive. And we were just talking about how Marvel and DC keep just reiterating the same heroes in different nationalities, and yet these artists for, and writers from Japan come up with stories like storylines like and that. And those are all not that's, even in that's, full color. Well, not even not, not just is there, that. Is but there a reason would for you that, even you know? would you have even thought of that book? That yeah. storyline. So far, these three storylines, I never would have even thought of. Oh, I've seen them before. We've had, of course, we carry yeah. them here. But I'm saying, like, but how original? It sounds cool. Yeah. So like I said, I I think my. I'm excited. Off. Can't wait for the next one. The next what one. What number are we on? Number two. I just can't wait for number one. I'm just like, oh. Is it Speed Racer. Very popular. No, not Speed Racer. I Sorry. know Speed Racer. Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. He's a demon on wheels. He's a demon and he's going to be chasing after someone. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, continue. Thank you. Anyway, the next one is Naruto. Naruto. Not Naruto. Naruto. I know. Nor Naruto. By, Naruto. By Masash Kishimoto. Again, I apologize. That is a huge popular. Yes, it is. It is about, it follows Naruto, who is a uh, ninja in training. He's kind of mischievous, but he does have some skill. His teacher is always amused. Yes. Is it anything like the Karate Kid? No. I mean, he's not waxing and waxing on and on and off. I mean, he could be like. <laughs> he's a, it's a ninja. I know he could he, be like. I believe didn't he learn the art of karate? Okay, so continue. Thank you. What's his name again? Naruto. Yeah, Nar Naruto. Yes. I we're saying it wrong. N A R. It's funny how right now I cannot say it. I've heard it a thousand times, and I. You know, it's not pronounced Naruto. Naruto. What are you, Naruto? It's N A R U T O. I I hear it from so many different people. Like I hear their translation of it. Gary, maybe you could play it. No, we should play like exactly how that's pronounced like right now. Okay, so I really can't believe that I'm making a video like this, but here we are with anime people, and uh, yeah, I got, I got, I just have to make the dumbest videos. So, how to pronounce this name? You guys are seeing it on screen right now. I'm not gonna say anything so people don't get get in their feelings right away. How to pronounce it? Let's see. It's in Japanese, right? Let's see how it is in Japanese. Naruto. You hear that? Let me let me run that back one more time. Naruto. Okay, cool. How do you say it in English, though, right? Naruto. Naruto. Why is there such a sharp contrast between its, its you know, origin, which is Japanese, and then the English language? Well, mm, I don't know. Gee, maybe because the English language construct is completely different from the Japanese one, right? So, how should you go about when you meet an individual that says Naruto, right? Oh, oh wait. Hold on. Let me see. Let me listen to the Japanese one again. Naruto. Oh, Naruto, right? Do you see how it's the same thing, right? How do you go about if you hear somebody saying the name like that, but they speak English? What do you do? Nothing, because it doesn't matter. Naruto. 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 Anyway. Naruto. Now say it right. Naruto. Nope, that's not how you said it. You didn't hear Anywho, Naruto. that was a robot speaking in. Naruto. Anyway. Anyway, Naruto. Lose your spot there. That's that font one. Thank you. Find no, your spot. No, because. I, so, anyways, here he is. He's a ninja trainer. He's a ninja in training, not a trainer. His mischievousness amuses his teacher, but annoys his teammates. So his, his teacher is like, but oh, he's cute. He is serious about becoming the best ninja in his village. 
So although he's up, always up to no good, he's always playing pranks. And, Do you know ninjas were assassinated all the Shogun warriors? Just so you know. So they you know, would. They did. Oh, okay. That's, I mean, it's a historical fact. What year was that? Oh man, it was the China dynasties. I don't remember. It was the China dynasties. No, it was lo- no, it wasn't that long ago. What do you? Think? I, I'm just saying what you. I'm just repeating what you just said. It was the, the last, China dynasties. No. So there was just well, one dynasty. Well, the Shogun warriors were protectors of the. Was it the one with Blake Harrington? I'm talking about dynasty. Now he's being he's making a joke. These no, jokes are funny. But th- that's the truth, though. Ninjas, they were. They assassinated and killed all the Shogun warriors, which were very respectful, very respect. Shoguns were, were. Weren't Shoguns like the Musketeers, kind of? Basically. But also, like a lot of people revere ninjas. They, they think there's a code to the ninja. So there's not a code to the ninja. No, there's no code. Ninja, They're assassins. Ninja, yeah. Ninjas are assassins. They will use every dirty trick in the book. Like Navy, they're like SEALs, or I mean, they're very yeah. coat. They're like, yeah. We trained to be ninjas when we were younger. Remember our techniques? Huh. Ha ha! Yes. We had the claws to climb into the First, trees. There's the ninja chop. Huh. There's the side chop. Ha ha! And the, the finger c- poke. Anyway, that leads us to number one. I have to admit, right now in the storytelling, that should have been number five. The ninja? Why? Naruto. Just because, because his name? No, just because it's. It, it's not. It's yeah, not because original, it's really not. Well, I mean, no, it's not that it's not original. It's just like not as in depth, because it's just about it's, it's a, about a ninja in training. It's, it's not a, like hey, he's going after the One Piece. He's not seeing. Spirits. So basically, Karate Kid was based off of this and as American version of it. Like, I don't know, because uh, it matters what year Naruto came out. And he's like, uh, Daniel son, I like what you do. You made me laugh. Ha, ha, ha. But it's not about an American kid getting punked on. Okay, it's about a Japanese kid. We will practice today stabbing in the neck. <laughs> oh, gee. Joey, how many times must I tell you? Use the rubber knife. That crazy kid. There's more students than one. <laughs> anyway, this brings us to our number one. Number one. Can we have a drum roll break? Number one. Anyway, right. the number one. Nope. Here he comes. Here comes Speed Racer. It is he not Speed Racer. Did he, would, he, it was, would it Speed Racer have made the top ten? No. Because why? It was in the top this nine. Is, it was the top thirty-five. Speed Racer was not in there. Just so you know. What if it was the top forty? Then I don't know because I only looked up the top thirty-two. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't look up the top hundred to get the top five. I see. That's pretty useless. Well, I'm out of here. I mean, Thank if it's not, it's not a Speed Racer and Spritel and Chim Chim, what is this? What is this world coming to? Well, this is not our top five. Wait, let me guess. Two piece? <laughs> really? <laughs> no. Anyway. Is it anyway? Well, there. that's a great show. Anyway, it is Dragon Ball. By, Dragon Ball? By Akira I, Toriyama. I, sh- I should have known that. You should have known that, especially when it's written down in front of you. I didn't see it. It's right there. Number one, he's yeah. got it right there. Dragon Ball. Yep. Why well, come not Dragon Ball Z? Because it's just Dragon Ball. Hmm. The very beginning of all the Dragon Balls. Ah. So, so Dragon is Ball. Is it like a Pokeball? But it's got dragons in it and you pop it out. Are you done? Are you done? I just want to know. Are you close to being done? Finish him. Wait. Before you do that, massage him. I thought we went over like what you need to do. Well, thank you. Anyway, it follows Son Goku. Goku. Oh, I messed what? that up. Son, Son Goku. I think we need to look that up. Uh, no, it's Goku. Oh my God! I Go, Go- Goku. Goku. Come on. Oh my on. God, Son Goku. Oh, you're messing with all these names. Anyway, they I apologize. Have some anyway, it follows Goku. Son Goku, who is a naive young boy. Who has a monkey tail and his life is turned upside down when he nearly gets run over by a girl named Bulama. Bulama? Maybe you should look that name up. I should, but I'm not. 
Anyway, she is on a quest to get the seven Dragon Balls. She will travel to all the world, and if and she gets the seven Dragon Balls... Will she put get, it on a, a gauntlet? No. But you and are granted one wish. When you get them all. So she tricks Goku into giving her his ball. You are going to let me use your Dragon Ball so I can make my wish, right? You can forget it. Grandpa gave me this ball to remember him by. And convincing him to join her in her quest. So he already has a ball. Yep. He only has Just one. one. Yes. Pretty sad. Anyway. And she has one. Yes. So there's two balls. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's anyway. not what I meant to say. But hold on. There's seven. Okay. So how what's a, what a coincidence this is that there's two balls and one, I mean, like, but all I don't know, the world. I don't know if she has the ball. I know he has the uh, ball. I think that's how it starts is that she convinces him to give her, give him hers. Give her his. Because he thought it's probably like a marble or something. Well, and so she takes it, convinces him to join her in her quest to get the seven dragon balls. All right. Now, although he is small and naive. He's just a kid, isn't he? But he is extremely powerful. He's extremely strong. He is aided with a staff and a floating cloud. Are these, are they supernatural? I assume so, since he's itty bitty, but super strong. But I'm saying, they're, are they, they're, yes. they're probably supernatural. And although he is naive, he is no simpleton. He is very intelligent, so he's not stupid. Except for when they get mad. Ha ha! And they do all that screaming. Yeah. And they super saiyan and stuff. I guess so. Ha ha! That's probably leads to Dragon Ball Z and all this stuff. So that's cool. Now, had had Junior been here, he probably would have had a lot more history for us because he We can get knows. him on the phone. We don't have that time because looking at the time, mm. it's that time again. Yeah. What time is it? It's, you mean? Yes. It's already that time? It so that, that time. was our, that, so Dragon Ball is it and it's time for. I want to hear you say it because you probably don't even. Is that the letter T? No, it starts with the letter V. I know, but it starts with, you gotta say, oh my God. you gotta say the, what the T for is. Yes. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. The, the vault. vault. Anywho. Yeah, was it this cold last time we were here? I have the air conditioning. Ooh, it's creepy in here. How else am I supposed to keep the comic books preserved? So in this special vault, That's right. we've got this cool comic. Oh, these are my notes. Or my notes. Ah, uh, nice notes. Anyway, today we're talking about Detective Comics number 38. 38! The first appearance of... Robin. The first appearance of... Boss Zuko. And... First introduction of Detective Comics. No, that was 20 seconds. I got it right here. Oh, come on. It was. Oh, was it Batman's Identity? No. The first introduction of the Spiked Glove. Oh, man. That's. So, but we didn't have that before. Nope. Not before this issue. No. I always wonder what that was. I always thought you... it was a swimming thing. I like to make him swim better. No, it's supposed to be defensive. Like a what? It's not supposed to be flimsy like on the 1966 battle. Oh, it's actually supposed to be defensive so when you fight somebody. Yeah, that'll hurt. Well, it's supposed to. It's Batman supposed to always sends people to the uh, hospital in Arkham Asylum. Well, he doesn't hurt him that bad. Well, back in the day, he was a little more violent. He carried a gun? I don't believe so. The original Batman did. He's come through a lot of changes, so. Now he's a pugilist. Unlike every Batman movie you've seen so far where he's shooting everybody, throwing missiles, and killing a lot of people. But anyway, I digress. I had, to, I had to take some notes because... Well, why don't you fill us in about the storyline of Detective Comics number 38? I don't know too much about Detective Comics 38, except for... No, I did. I'm just kidding. I was about to say. So, interesting enough, it's been a while since I had a chance to read this. First off, what was so cool about it is all the stories that are in there, aside from... Detective Comics. That, that did shock me because I didn't realize it's that it was a actually comic? detective stories. Detective, yeah, there's just a bunch of stories that are in there. But in Detective Comics, this issue, we get to meet Robin for the first time. And you get to see his origin yep. and how Batman takes him in. Dick Grayson, so you can come out. 
It takes him in. Yes, yeah, it kind of takes him in under his tutelage. When the owner of a traveling circus named Mr. Hadley is confronted by thugs, they ask Mr. Hadley to pay a fine, you know, I a fee, that. to pay a fee. But he refuses. And as a result, his best-selling attraction, the flying creations are killed. They pay for Real strange-like. But I... It was an accident. Yes. Anyway, fast forward again, since it's taking so long. They catch up to they catch up to the hooligans and the thugs, and they're fighting up on the high wire act. You the know, girders. They, they try to escape. Richard Grayson actually kills them off, pushes them off. They fall to their deaths. So anyway, then the boss is why they kill off. Now later on in Batman Lore, they trade that in to make Two Face the killer of uh, Richard Grayson's. Uh, Parents. Pretty cool book to have in your collection. If you can get to that comics number 38, written in the 1940s, then it, it, it's a thousand dollars. Even if it's five thousand dollars, it's five thousand dollars. You have a 1940s book that's basically almost in good condition, or if not better, Batman. Lord. I have a quote. I'd like to read this quote. Tell me if you know who says this. My parents too were killed by criminals. That's why I've devoted my life to exterminating. You sounded just like Christian Bell. Give me those pimples. That was Batman. <laughs> you thought it was Alfred. It was really like Batman, but hey, it's good enough. Anyways. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the vault. The vault. So we're gonna, from now on, you're going to see us. From now on. We're going to start promoting us books that you can invest in yes. that won't break the bank.